Can you die from using a neti pot? Yesterday, I presented the case of a 25-year-old female who came to the emergency department complaining of a headache. She has had a sinus infection for a few weeks and has been using her neti pot. Over the past 24 hours, her headaches became increasingly worse to the point where she went to the emergency room. She was worked up, was given medications for a migraine, and was sent home. The next day, her family noticed that she was confused and also running a fever, so they rushed her back into the ER. What's happening? Headaches, fevers, altered mental status, and a history of a recent bacterial infection is concerning for meningitis. Meningitis is where the meninges, or the covering of your brain, can actually become infected. It can cause all of these symptoms and is extremely life-threatening depending on the source. The cause of meningitis can be from many different things, including bacteria, viruses, can even be inflammatory, can be from cancer, and it can also be from other types of bugs like funguses or amoeba. It can eat your brain? There's a type of amoeba that can actually eat your brain, and it's called Nagleria fowleri. Fortunately, it's extremely rare with only about three cases in the U.S. per year. There was just a case that was diagnosed last week in Florida from using a neti pot. How in the world does that happen? The amoeba can live in fresh warm water such as lakes, rivers, or streams and can even be found in some tap water. It causes the infection when that water containing the amoeba goes through the nose, such as using a neti pot or even jumping into water that has this amoeba inside. It can even live in recreational water that doesn't have enough chlorine, such as splash pads, pools, or water parks. When the amoeba enter your nose through the nasal cavity and water, it can actually adhere to the olfactory nerves and cross through the cribriform plate. The cribriform plate is the part of your nasal cavity where your olfactory nerves or your smelling nerves penetrate through your skull base so you can smell. So if those amoeba get on your olfactory nerve, it can actually enter the brain through the top of your nose. The death rate from this type of infection is 97%. It can be detected by being found in the cerebral spinal fluid. Treatments have been challenging to identify because it is so rare and so deadly. Anyone with meningitis type symptoms should always be assessed by a healthcare professional. So are neti pots dangerous? The answer is no, but they have to be used properly. You should only use distilled or sterile water and you can find that in any grocery store. This is the same thought process for CPAP machines. If you only have tap water, you can use tap water, but should be boiled for at least one minute and obviously cooled off before you place it in your nose. Amoeba can't survive in salt water, which is why it's not found in the ocean, and you can always add salt to your nasal rinse. You should not allow water to forcibly go up your nose, such as jumping into a pool or a lake. And don't allow kids to play with hoses or sprinklers without supervision because it can also place water up their nose forcibly. Please know that this is extremely rare, but it is also avoidable. This particular patient did not survive her infection. So stay safe with those neti pots, and I'll see you guys next week. Next Sunday, I will be presenting from the AANS Spine Section meeting in Miami. Watch out, Mr. 305.